today's video, we are going to go over chapter one, investigating the crime scene. In this video, we're going to go In this video, we're gonna go over chapter one, investing in the crime scene, the crime scene team. The objectives by the end of this chapter, you should list out the steps taken to preserve a crime scene, the four tasks of documentation of the crime scene and related techniques and guidelines, no ways to st st systematically search the crime scene, Summarize the general methods for collecting, preserving, identifying, packaging, and transporting evidence. Understand the chain of custody. State the Fourth Amendment and its application to the search and seizure of evidence. These are all things that you should know by the end of chapter one. And then recall the exceptions to the Fourth Amendment. So an introduction, many crimes are comparable, but each crime scene is unique. You never have two things of the same circumstances. They're always unique. The collection, documentation, and preservation of evidence are essential for any successful criminal investigation. If the evidence is not documented, preserved, or collected correctly, the prosecution might not be able to use it in their court case and essential evidence wouldn't be allowed, which Did you call me? So many crimes are comparable, but each crime scene is unique. There are never two in two you. In this video, we are going to go over chapter one, investigating the crime scene, crime scene team. So the objectives by the end of this chapter, investigating the crime scene, chapter one, you should be able to list out the steps taken to preserve a crime scene, name the four tasks of documentation of the crime scene and related techniques and guidelines, know ways to systematically search the crime scene, Summarize the general methods for collecting, preserving, identifying, packaging, and transporting evidence. Understand the chain of custody. State the Fourth Amendment and its application to the search and seizure of evidence. And recall the exceptions to the Fourth Amendment. So for an introduction, many crimes are comparable, but each crime scene is unique. There are never the same set of circumstances, so every crime scene will be different. The collection, documentation, and preservation of evidence are essential for any successful criminal investigation. If the evidence is not collected, documented, or preserved correctly, then it might not be able to be used in, a legal, in the legal case in the courtroom, which could mean that, which could lead to a dismissal of the charges. So it was very important to collect, document, and preserve evidence correctly. If information and evidence of the crime are not properly collected, preserved, and analyzed, the entire investigation may be in jeopardy. A crime scene. A crime scene is any place where evidence may be located and gathered to help explain events. It is not always where the body is. It could be a car or suspect's house. For example, if someone was murdered by the lake and the body was moved to a car and the car was set on fire, then the suspect went home and cleaned themselves up. There are multiple crime scenes in this example. One of them is the area by the lake where the person was murdered, the car the body was moved into, which would have the body itself, and the suspect's home because he cleaned himself up there. So there are many people in the crime scene team. There's always multiple people that work together to get evidence from a crime scene. 
the number of people is limited to avoid disturbing the crime scene. The more people that go through a crime scene, the greater the chance that evidence could be damaged. So the crime scene team includes police officers, officers and medics, if medics are needed, and they are typically the first to arrive at a crime scene. Medics are responsible for providing medical care to those who are injured. That is their primary responsibility. Police officers are responsible for securing the scene so no evidence is destroyed and detaining persons of interest in the crime. This also includes creating a barrier or barricading off the crime scene so no one else can come in except authorized personnel. The CSI unit, Criminal Crime Scene Investigation Unit, documents the crime scene in detail and collects any physical evidence. This includes a photographer and a videographer. The district attorney is often present if it's a serious crime to help determine if any search warrants are required to proceed and obtains those warrants with a judge. If search warrants, if they, if police enter a house or apartment without having a proper search warrant, any evidence they find can, will be thrown out in court. So the search warrants are required and we'll go over that more with the Fourth Amendment. The medical examiner, if it's a homicide, may or may not be present to determine a preliminary cause of death. Specialists like forensic entomologists, anthropologists or psychologists or any other specialty may be called in if the evidence requires expert analysis. And then the detectives who interview witnesses and consult with the CSI unit, they investigate the crime by following leads provided by witnesses and physical evidence. They also lead the investigation of the crime uh, with the whole CSI unit. So in summary, a crime scene is any place where evidence may be located and gathered to help explain events. It is not always where the body is. There are many people on the crime scene team, first responders and first on-site police officers, later police officers, CSI unit, district attorney, medical 